So in today's video, I wanted to talk about Lighthouse and how we can maybe use Lighthouse in an automated way to help better understand how changes we make to our code is impacting the accessibility and the quality of our websites. So Lighthouse, if you're not familiar with it, is a tool made by Google. It's built into Google Chrome and now Microsoft Edge because they're using Chromium under the hood. And it's a tool that we can run on a particular web page and it does several types of analysis to understand is it uh, meeting all the guidelines for accessibility is it performant is it loading the web page quickly um, if you've got certain progressive web app features are they configured correctly and then also seo tools for for search engine stuff um, which is important to some people not as important to others so um, well, let's check it out on Wikipedia. So the way you get to it is you go into your developer tools and you have all these tabs and we're used to the elements tab and the console, of course. Well, on the right hand side, there should be a lighthouse tab and we can click generate report. But before we do that, there's all these categories we can check. So do we want to measure performance? Do we want to understand progressive web apps and best practices and SEO and accessibility and all that stuff? And then what type of device do we run, want to run this on? If you're more mobile focused, you would switch this to mobile. Um, let's just try the desktop version for right now. And we're going to click generate report and it's going to go through a series of tests and it's going to spit out that report once it's done. So here we have some scores, uh, 96 on performance. And what does that mean? So it tells you the first content, content pull paint uh, was, it only took 1.5 seconds. Um, the, so there's, there's all these different indexes and uh, measurements to understand. And if you really wanna know what all of that means, there's a Lighthouse scoring guide, just Google that. And it will kind of walk you through all the various things that it's, that it's telling you here. Um, so with accessibility, 98, we want our websites to be as accessible as possible. There's maybe a, a potential problem with the lang attribute on Wikipedia. Uh, apparently does not have a valid value. So that's what's great. It, it will tell you oftentimes what the specific thing is that kind of docked your score a little bit. Um, so on SEO, we got an 82. Maybe Wikipedia doesn't really necessarily care about that because um, it's one of the top 10 websites in the world. And then it does not look like it got a progressive web app score. Uh, maybe that's because they are not set up to be a progressive web app. It says um, no usable web app manifest. So maybe it does a few things like it upgrades you to HTTPS, but it doesn't actually have a, uh, a manifest or any of the other parts of a progressive web app. So anyway, this is just a quick tour of Lighthouse. Um, but what I think is kind of uh, an interesting approach to using it is to automate this. So all the time we're checking in code as developers and building and deploying our websites. Um, if we use Lighthouse, well, why not just automate it? So as part of our continuous deployment, we are maybe running a script in the background to say like, hey, what's my Lighthouse score? And especially what is it doing over time? And instead of you having to go in there and open it up and measure it and write down these scores or uh, perform this test and then save save the report, you can actually just automate it. So the way we do that is we're gonna npm install globally the Lighthouse tool. I've already done that, so I don't, I don't need to do that again. So what does that give us? That gives us the Lighthouse CLI tool. We're gonna do lighthouse-help. And there's all kinds of options and configuration. So the way that we can use this is Lighthouse, and then we give it a URL. So we're gonna use that same URL. And then we wanna pass in a couple of flags. So we wanna view this report. And um, I think that that is all we'll do for right now. So we're gonna run this. And so this is gonna step through a lot of the same processes that just occurred in the browser and it's going to open up a instance of google chrome it's going to do some checks um, since we didn't perform, put any flags in it i think used the mobile version as the default so if you want the desktop you have to specify a flag so much of the same scores here same accessibility a little bit worse on performance 
um, slightly better on SEO. So that's great, but this is still an HTML report. So if you want to automate this, what I recommend you do is you actually spit out a JSON. So now we want to do this. So we save the report as a JSON document instead of an HTML report. So we can have the same URL, but this time we're going to say output equals JSON and our output path is going to be somewhere just right here in our current directory and we'll say it's report.json. So the same things are going to happen. Chrome is going to launch. It's going to take us um, through all the, the same steps, but instead of spitting out an HTML report for us to look at, we should have a file called report.json. So what's inside that file? Let's do open report.json. I believe this opens in. Okay, instead let's do code report.json. Okay, so this time, instead of having HTML, we have all of these data points in JSON format. So what I would recommend, what I am recommending is you regularly schedule a Lighthouse report and save it to, as a JSON document. And then at some point, you can take that data and transform it into a report over time and measure like, well, our, over time, is our accessibility going up or down, or are certain changes that we're making impacting our performance? And in this way, I think Lighthouse becomes an even more valuable tool uh, for documenting and measuring the types of changes that you're making to your code base. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, let me know in the comments, and I can respond to some of your questions. Thanks.